Hi everyone, welcome to ITS workshop. So today I would like to show you how to install Hadoop on Linux system. In my case, this is CentOS 8 machine. So you can find these PPTs useful even if you are using some other Linux flavor like Ubuntu or Fedora or something. So the installation goes very simple. You just need to make sure that you have Java installed in your system. Then we copy the Java path and we follow the few configuration into the Hadoop file. So first of all, I would like to check if my system has Java or not. So I think I have Java already installed and set up. So open JDK is installed and this version is there. You can check with Java hyphen version. If this is not installed, you can follow these steps. sudo yum update, you can update the system. Then you can install open JDK and then you can check out and you can verify if Java is installed or not. So this is the first step let's come to second step in second step we'll create and set up ssh certificate and this is required so that when you are trying to log into hadoop when you are trying to start the services then hadoop doesn't ask you password again and again so it uses ssh key and you can avoid setting up a giving password again so it's asking it's already there if you want to generate or not enter file name so you can enter you can overwrite if exist and you can use the new one also then you can copy your key into the authorized key so this is copied second step is done let us come to third step so in third step uh, we'll download and start installing the Hadoop setup so when I'm recording this video the latest version available is 3.2.1 so if you are using any other version you can simply replace this and most of the steps I, I, I think almost all of the steps are same and you can follow the same document for installation so I'll just copy this one and I'll get the path and I'll start downloading in my system I'll just clear the screen so once you enter it starts downloading and in my case I have already downloaded because it takes some time so depending on your internet speed it will take few minutes and it will download a file like this so I downloaded in my home folder doesn't matter where you download but I would like to keep Hadoop installation in my home folder then the next step is we can unzip this file it will take few seconds until it unzips and it will put in the same folder then you can decide moving to your desired directory as well so I would like to put my Hadoop into home user and Hadoop so you have to change this name depending on which user you are having in your Linux system machine so I'll copy this same command these commands are based on my system so if you want different Hadoop version you can change this or you can change the directories depending on your system so this is done you can verify it once now you can see it is unzipped here I'll give the command and I'll move into another folder this looks much clean so now this is the folder this is the folder for your Hadoop home so we'll be setting one Hadoop home environment variable and the value for this is this path the Hadoop directory here now let us come to the configuration path so third step is done fourth step is editing and setting up the configuration so we have to take the Java path we'll be giving the Java path as a path variable and few other variable and then we can proceed with setting up these few configuration in Hadoop folder etc file so I would like to check my Java available version I'm just clearing the screen so that it is okay when we record the video 
so I have one Java one Java version installed here and that is set up and you can copy this path to JRE yes so this will be your Hadoop home where your, your Java home variable yes so copy this path and paste it into some notepad so that we can use in coming step so I'll just select one and that's it and next step is you can set this environment variable in bash rc file so I'll open bash rc using vi editor if you are new to vi editor it's very simple to use if you want to enter something you just press i i key insert key you, you just put letter i key in the keyboard and there you can edit your environment variable so i'll be taking this environment variable for my from my document as well i'll be sharing this document uh, content in the comment section you can check it out or i can drop into your email address if you if you reply me your email address in your uh, comment or, or you can drop me a personal email also if you don't want to reply in the so so these are the environment variable I'll just fix few extra enter when you copy paste from PDF now here two things are important which you need to be careful about first thing is Java home environment variable so Java home environment variable is nothing but we just copied in the previous step so I'll take it and I'll just provide it here then you can check and verify your Hadoop install so this is the directory where your Hadoop install is set up so in my case this is my home my user and Hadoop folder so you can verify it then escape for saving this then colon wq and exclamatory so this means write quit and your file is saved so vi bash rc file is saved now if you want to make these changes permanent so you can run source bash rc that will make these changes available so this step is done environment variables are set now let us come to the configuration file so the first file which will be setting up is Hadoop environment.sh and I'll be opening Hadoop environment.sh file so I'll just clear the screen make sure when you copy you give the correct path because when, when you copy from PDF there are some extra characters or enter or spaces unwanted so you won't like that now we are looking for Java home variable so we need to set up Java home variable So export Java home Here we have 
so insert i then just delete the comment and set up java home variable which you copied in the previous step so this is q1 you can verify it once then escape colon wq and that's it now let's come to the second step second step will be setting up configuration in core site.xml so this is the path i'm going to open that file using vi editor core site.xml and you'll find one configuration tag here so within this configuration tag you can give the property so this is just one property there there will be many other properties if you are using into production system so fs default name insert and i'll just give these properties here configuration fs default name colon wq and you can save it so you can verify if you are giving everything right then you can open another file that's the next step we have to set up yarn site.xml so i'll open yarn site.xml and in this file also you'll find one configuration tag so you can give the property in configuration tag there are these two properties related to map reduce so insert and you can paste it and you can verify if all the properties are correct without extra spaces or enter so i think it looks good i'll say escape colon wq and this file is written next step is now this is important so in previous version of hadoop we used to have one template file so mapred site.xml we need to set up a file known as mapred site.xml so this file was not available directly we used to have one template file so we used to copy from this template file to another real file so you can verify in your system if you are installing and this mapred xml site is already available then you don't need to do anything else so you can verify you can directly try to open it if you get this file which is already created not the new file but the file which is already created so this is the this is not the new file this is file already created so i think uh, with the current version 3.2.1 this will be already created so you can th skip this step cp file you can skip this step and you can directly open the file and you can edit the configuration property so i'll copy the property and insert i'll paste the value escape wq and this file is edited now in the next step so next step requires us to create two directories so these two directories will be used by hadoop for physical stories so i'm just naming this hadoop underscore store and sdfs and name node sdfs and name node so i'll just give this command of creating the directory so these directories are created now we can set up sdfs site.xml file so just open sdfs site.xml file mm, wrong sorry so i think there is some extra space in the pdf font so i'll just open it again yeah this is the correct one this is the correct one so you'll see one configuration tag here we need to insert value in this configuration tag so we just created these two files so these this is this is what i have as my path so here you would like to change uh, this user if your user is different so you have to verify this path so based on your path you need to change this value so once you give your correct path of the directories which we just created you can take these properties and you can put in configuration 
so in my case this is correct this is as per my system so I'll just escape WQ and this file is edited that's it now we have given all the configuration we can format and we can start using Hadoop so let us verify so this is formatting going on if you see if you don't see any error then the format is success and you can see the shutdown message so format is done now we can start using DFS so I'll just clear the screen I'll give the command start DFS dot such so if everything goes correct everything is fine there is no problem you'll see successful message like this starting name node on local host starting data node starting secondary name node so DFS is nothing but constituent of these three things name node data node and secondary name node and you can verify the Java process is running using JPS command so don't worry even if you don't have JPS inst installed in your system it's fine it comes from Java development tool open JDK and if you see this if you have this if you are working with Java then it's fine if you see this you can see there are three services up and running so three daemons up and running now and if you see this message then it's fine everything is correct now we can start yarn for the next step so I'll start yarn so yarn will start two daemons here one resource manager another one is not manager and you can check out JPS again and you see all five Hadoop services are up and running okay it means the setup is success and it is up and running and if you want to stop it you can give stop hyphen DFS dot sh and stop hyphen yarn dot sh you can check out these commands in another videos also now at last we'll just verify using the web browser so in web browser if you give if you give the path local host 9870 it will show you the default screen of your Hadoop installation so if you see this screen you can get all the information yes we can discuss this in another video but if you see this up and running you can check it out this is the file system we have here you can check it out that our system is up and running okay so right now there are no file it's total new system so it means the installation was success so yeah that's it it was simple I guess and I hope you enjoyed this video so if you like this video please click on like button please subscribe to this channel so that I can come up with more and more videos like this thanks a lot